Hello human, thank you for being on the channel. One night when I was walking home from a friend's house, I kept hearing barking. Just barking for no reason. You know, just barking and shit. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Calm down. So then I keep walking. Walking back to my house. Nighttime, everything's right in the world. All of a sudden this dog appears in front of me. And I'm getting ready to fuck this dog up. Because you know like when a dog starts showing the teeth. And the dog want to rip a piece of meat off of you and shit. I'm like, nah, you ain't going to fuck with me tonight. I'm trying to go home and relax and shit. You better get the fuck up out of my way. So and then, this is where the shit get crazy. So this dog started talking to me, right? I'm talking about perfect fucking English. I thought I was out of my goddamn mind. But nope, that shit was really happening. The dog was like, my name is Spike. And I was wondering if you know what happened tonight. I'm like, no, nah, I don't know what happened tonight, Spike. I'm like, why the fuck are you talking to me? And why do I understand what you're saying? The fuck, last time I checked, I'm not Dr. Doolittle. What, like, what, what the fuck you want? Why are you talking to me? So Spike told me there was a murder that happened. There was a murder. It involved him and his master. So technically, Spike, that's a goddamn ghost and shit, a ghost dog. I was like, look, Spike, um, I don't care about you or your fucking master. Now get the fuck up out of my way so I can go home, relax, you know what I'm saying, kick the feet up, have a macaroni and cheese dinner, you delaying the process, fuck out the way. So I walk, and then, you know, Spike vanishes, and then he reappears. And I'm like, look, Spike, man, I told you I can't help your furry ass, man. Why don't you go bother somebody else? And he's like, Terrence, you're the only one that can help me. So at that point, I stopped, looked down at the ground. Looked back and looked up at Spike, looked back down at the ground, looked at Spike, and I said a spell. And at that point, I was able to get rid of that motherfucker. And then as he was barking and dying and whatever else or dying again, you know, he just was like, you're the only one that can help. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. And I said, you know, my spell in Latin. And then that was it. So I went home and enjoyed my macaroni and cheese dinner. And I never heard from Spike again. Or what happened to his master. I didn't hear about it on the news or nothing. Oh, well, you know, I guess when a when a ghost dog appears before you, you can either decide to help or you'd be like, nah. See, I ain't getting involved in that. I'm too smart for that. Spike was trying to lead me into a fucking trap. If him and his master got murdered, you know what that means? The murderer is still out there. I'm going to confront the murderer and the murderer might have a gun or some shit. And then I might, you know, lay some moves on him, you know, lay and break his jaw or some shit. Then next thing you know, I got like 10 bullets in my head just because some dog named Spike was like, yo, you got to help me. You're the only one. I'm like, you can miss me with that shit, ghost dog. Thank you for being here, human. You be sure to like this video and share it with the humans, you know, and then you punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. Fucking ghost dog. Who, who the fuck he thought he was talking to? He thought I would care that something happened to him and his master. I'm like, I don't care about that shit. Maybe if he would have caught me on a Tuesday or something. There is something called bad timing. And until next time, Terrence out.